Hey science fans, have you ever wondered how a yo-yo moves up and down? A yo-yo works by converting potential energy into kinetic energy and back again as it moves up and down a string. When you hold a yo-yo up, it has gravitational potential energy because it's raised above the ground. This energy is stored due to its position. When you release the yo-yo, it falls, and the potential energy turns into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. As it drops, it spins, storing some of the kinetic energy in its rotation. At the bottom of the string, the yo-yo is spinning fast. This spinning motion keeps it stable like a gyroscope and stores kinetic energy in the rotation. The string's loop around the axle allows it to spin freely. When you tug the string, the yo-yo's spinning axle grips the string and climbs back up. The kinetic energy from the spin and motion converts back into potential energy as the yo-yo rises. The yo-yo keeps moving up and down as you control it with the string, constantly switching between potential energy when high, and kinetic energy when moving or spinning. The string and axle design lets the yo-yo store and release energy smoothly, making tricks possible by controlling this energy transfer. The yo-yo eventually stops. Each time the yo-yo goes up and down, a bit of its total energy, potential plus kinetic, is lost to friction and air resistance. These losses add up so the yo-yo can't climb as high or spin as fast with each cycle. In short, friction and air resistance steal the yo-yo's energy over time, causing it to slow down and stop.